Hey, Nate here, Superior Eagle Communications. I just wanted to do a quick how-to video on how to change the forwarding um, options of your of your 3CX extension. Um, what you're seeing right now is the soft phone for the 3CX. Um, any extension should be able to download and install this. Um, actually, you're going to need to in order to, to do what I'm going to show you. Um, but it does, it comes standard with, with any 3CX platform. So with that being said, um, it's actually really quite easy to change the forwarding on your phone. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is see this where it says available. What this is, is you can set your, your extension's status to do different things. And what I mean by that is, is if a call is coming in to your phone, you can have it do different things. Maybe forward to your mobile, forward to another extension. Um, go to an external number um, you, there's many different options so you can have these different statuses for example away let's say it's five o'clock I'm done for the day and if I do get any more calls instead of it ringing my extension you know maybe six seven times and going to voicemail I want the caller just to go straight to voicemail right in order to see the options for this you click on the arrow within the status and here you will see um, forward internal calls to voicemail forward external calls to voicemail and internal means people within the organization other extensions if they call your extensions there those are considered internal calls uh, forward external calls those are external calls coming in um, outbound or you know external you know it is what it says external calls coming in and it's going to go to voicemail Okay, and then you can select different uh, my voicemail office hours and, and th different uh, options there. Okay, so for this, the purpose of this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to change the just the default the, the available status um, options. So again, you'll click that, hit the arrow. Now we're in the options, and I'll just go through these a little bit. So this 30 seconds, no answer timeout. What that means is it's going to ring for 30 seconds, and then it's going to forward to my voicemail right forward internal calls again internal mean, meaning within the organization other extensions um, it's gonna do it's gonna do the same thing all right busy or not registered busy is if I'm on the phone a call comes in it's gonna go to my voicemail not registered means if the phone is maybe unplugged you know it's not registered to the system the system does not see that the that the phone is plugged in okay um, and again, it's going to go to my voicemail. All right. So again, forward internal calls, meaning within the organization, same as all calls, or you can actually have it do something different. All right. Um, also ring my mobile. And what this is, is let's say you have it, your phone's going to ring for 30 seconds. You can actually also have it ring your mobile at the same time. So maybe you stepped out real quick. You know, you can come select that and now it's going to ring your mobile. But again, make sure you hit OK. And then accept accept multiple calls is basically like call waiting. Um, while you're on a call, you're going to be able to receive another one. Okay. So let me uncheck that. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it for, we'll change this to 10 seconds. We're going to have the calls, forward the calls to my mobile. And if the call is busy or not registered, or if my phone is busy or not registered, I have it go to my mobile as well okay and that's it hit OK oops hit OK and you're done all right so now that's easy for that part right so now what if the person is not able to do this for whatever the case may be maybe they're gone they just don't have the connectivity um, what you're gonna want to do is you want to get a hold of whoever has management credentials and log in to the 3CX management console and you do that by accessing it through the web browser okay so you'll go to your web browser and you're going to want to go to the URL of the phone system, right? And I recommend bookmarking it because they could uh, tend to get kind of long, as you can see ours is. And let me select the right thing here. Okay. And it's going to take me to the management console. Okay. So we'll go admin is default. And we'll log in. Now you're going to go, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse. I'm going to change it back, right? So everything's similar. You know, you're going to want to go to the extension. The extension that I was working on was 752. And, uh, oh, one more thing. Um, 
So mobile number, you got to have a mobile number entered into this section under the general tab. Otherwise, it won't let you save. Um, won't let you save uh, forward to my mobile. It won't let you save it within that 3CX soft phone. So make sure that this is already um, inputted before you even try to do that. Um, okay. So anyway, back to forwarding. So now we're going to go to the forwarding tab forwarding rules tab and you can see I, that's what I did I changed it to 10 seconds go to mobile here also if the phone is busy or unregistered uh, send call to my mobile as well okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change everything back so simple just click that click that and my phone was set at 30 do that come down here hit OK and you're done really simple um, that's kind of what this phone system's design is the simplicity of it very user friendly um, but anyway that's how you change the forwarding on your 3cx extension two ways one via the 3cx soft phone and the other um, by way of the 3cx management console um, thanks for watching this video i hope that it was informative for you hope it made your life that much easier and like us subscribe to our channel uh, on youtube youtube.com forward slash superior eagle like us on facebook uh, facebook.com forward slash superior eagle uh, we got twitter twitter.com forward slash superior eagle um, and again thanks for watching